Okay, so like you gotta decide today, and I know you guys came a long way, so I know that you're interested in being great. The question is, are you gonna be committed to being great? Some of you guys understand the concept of winning, but like you don't know how to really win. And that's kind of what I want you to understand. Like, look, understand the concept of running the business. Understand the concept of running the team. Understand the concept of selling solar isn't gonna sell solar, okay? Whatever it is you wanna sell, you have to be undeniably the best at it. That, that's it. And if you're not, then you're not gonna get the outcome that you want. And at the end of the day, I can't think of anything worse than not getting what I want. So either you really don't want it, or you do want it, you're just not putting in what it takes. So you go to the classroom to learn it. Number one, you learn it. Number two, you go apply it, okay? Remember, 99% of the people, when they leave these events, okay, they will backslide or fall off because they think they made it after 90 days. Guy comes in, he makes a bunch of money, all of a sudden he's like, I'm good, I got it now. No, dude, use it or lose it, you stay plugged into whatever worked for you, you stay plugged into that, you never leave it. Does that make sense? Okay, Let's go. or backslide, backslide, you're not staying plugged into something, and what happens is what? When it gets hard, you try to do it on your own, you buckle down, and you hide. A lot of people, when they doubt themselves, they hide, okay? So apply, and then what is the third thing? First thing is you're gonna freaking what? Go to the classroom, that's what you're doing now. Number two, you're gonna go apply it. Number three, what are you gonna do? Practice it all the time. Well, yeah, you're gonna practice it as crazy, but that's applying it, that's repeating it, okay? Yeah, you're physically going to go and you're gonna role play until you throw up, right? So you can actually get good at it. A lot of you guys understand the concept, but you're not great at it yet. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna do what somebody does. After you, after you apply it, what's the third thing you're gonna do? Best way to learn. Find a freaking mentor you wanna be like and mirror them until you can nail it. That's it. So I'm gonna ask that question. We're gonna go to our third part. Let's say hypothetically, I won't say I am, but let's say hypothetically I was somebody that you looked up to and you said, hey, I want to be like that guy. So you're in the classroom, right? Or you want to get the results that I got, whatever. Or you want to be like Kobe Bryant, okay? Number one, he didn't show up to work 10 minutes before work. He showed up to work four hours before work. So if you want to be like him, you'd have to do what he did. But all of a sudden, so you don't want to be like Kobe because you're not doing what Kobe did. See, a lot of people want something until they realize what that person really did to get it. And then they're like, wait a minute. Maybe I don't want that. So you lower your standards because it's easy. I don't want an easy life. So number one, you go to the classroom and learn. Number two, you do what? You apply it and you get good at it. Repetition is the mother of skill. And then number three, you find a mentor. Find somebody that you want to be like. And then until you can say, I'm better than that person, you stick to them. Quit jumping around. Look, life's pretty simple, okay? You don't need 20 mentors and get confused. Find one or two, become better than them, go find someone else. Can you guys do that? Yep. Okay, but if you can't ever become as good as the mentor that you're modeling, it means that you don't want it. Okay, so like you gotta decide today, and I know you guys came a long way, so I know that you're interested in being great. The question is, are you gonna be committed to being great? Because interested doesn't get you anywhere. Committed, interested can get you going across the world to say, hey, what does this guy got to say? But committed says, hey, whatever he says, Look, my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. If he's gone there, all I got to do is do what he says, and I'm going to go there. Unless you quit, by, of course, which I always say, don't quit. But unless you quit, and most of you, you get so close for, to get through a breakthrough, and then you quit, and then we got to start all over again. Like, I don't want to start over, okay? And I just want you guys to get that, that a lot of you guys will disconnect because you quit. And then number four, so you're going to learn, you're going to go to the classroom, you're going to apply it, you're going to find a mentor. And then once you do that, the fourth way, which is my favorite, is you're going to teach it. My goal with all of you guys in here is to have every single one of you running a sales team one day. That's it. That's all I want. If you're in here right now, I want you to run a team. I want you to realize that you can't run a team until you're the best. Okay, think about it right now. If somebody was your team leader and they weren't better than you, would you continue to look up to them anymore? Not in most cases. Maybe he's the biggest sweetheart in the world or she is. But in most cases, you always want to be around people that are better than you because if they're better than you, you feel more powerful when you're around them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. When you guys are around people that are better than you, what do you want to do? You want to be better than them. And then guess what? You feel powerful when you're around them because you know their skill levels so you know you're on the right track. 
So what I want you guys to do is number one, become undeniably the best at whatever you do. That's it, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow, okay? Number two, I want you to realize this, we can have no ego. There can be zero ego. And by the way, you cannot be ungrateful under any circumstance. I wanna talk about attitudes real quick. And you may say, man, this is repetitive, I've heard this before. I don't think you understand it, okay? So let's talk to you, you guys are married, right? You didn't marry, you didn't marry your dude. Number one. Come on, He gets out of bed, he's in a bad mood. Okay? Does that ruin your day? It does ruin your day. No matter what you say, it ruins your day. Okay? When you guys have kids, that's going to ruin your kids' day. He goes to work and he has employees because he runs a store. It's going to ruin their day. When you have a bad attitude, you can ruin everybody's day. I need you to understand this. So if you guys really want to have a good life, if you do, one of the things that you'll notice, if I'm somebody that you really want to get information from and you're here, I'm here to tell you that I never have a bad attitude. Never. I understood that the first thing in the road to the cell, selling any product or anything or running a team, was to have the best attitude in the world. And if you don't have a great attitude, no one is going to want to be around you. I don't care how good you are, they're not going to want to be with you. Okay? And by the way, listen to me. You might marry him because you love him, but it doesn't mean you're going to have the best marriage in the world because if somebody wakes up and they think, oh, this is about me, you lose everything. This is about serving something higher than you, bigger than you. I'm going to tell you what it is, okay? Number one, what do you guys want? Why are you here? If I was to give you a piece of paper, I would say, hey, write down your why, right? So, Laura, you got a son. You got a family that you got a son. You came here with you. It's to be a great example for him and to raise the standard of what it means to be an awesome person in the free world. Now, if you can do that, your son will be amazing. So what do we gotta do to each other? We gotta raise the standard, man. Look, dude, I'm a closer, man. I get savage. If you get in my way, I'm gonna bury you. I go really hard. I go, I go crazy hard, but I do it with a good attitude. If I'm intense, dude, I've never seen anybody win without getting intense. Okay, so I don't understand any other way. Like, people are like, he's too intense. I'm like, well, I've never seen somebody win casually. I don't get it, okay? Listen, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't see people that are laying around casually hanging out, hoping for winning to recognize them. Like, it doesn't happen. Look, you know what I want to do? I want to have people look at me and say, why do you do that? Why do you go so hard? Like, is this real? Get right, this is real. This is the one life that you're gonna get. One, you're not gonna get two, you're not gonna get five, and there's no readers. Once you're dead, you're dead. It's over. So as you guys are breathing and you're alive and you're in this room, you gotta think about it. How many years have you guys been off? I mean, seriously. I mean, too how many? many? Way too many. Too many. All right, so do we wanna do that anymore? No. So here's the deal. When you go back out there, it's mediocrity. When you open these doors and you walk out in that fresh air, there's mediocrity breathing everywhere. You're going to have to win with mediocrity all around you. You cannot get away from it. Do you guys understand me? You're selling, you're selling on a bunch of losers. It's just the way it is. I need you to understand your identity and I need you to know who you are. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it. Before you do that, like the video, subscribe. Make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free, F-R-E-E, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video. And by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it. <laughs>